head to my back. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Joseph Cipriano and today we have our patient here. Um, now she is 35 weeks pregnant, correct? Okay, so any, you know, very, very soon actually. Um, and you're expecting a baby girl, so congratulations with that one. Um, but now obviously, um, 35 weeks pregnant, you have some pains going on, correct? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna have you just kind of tell everybody what's going on a little bit, what you're noticing. So I have really bad sciatic nerve pain in my right side. Okay. Um, I've had it since like the beginning of pregnancy, and I've had it with my last pregnancy, and I think this one's worse. Okay. Um, and then my hips. Okay. Um, I've been adjusted before, and they always tell me my hips are really off. So. Gotcha. Usually my right one is the one that hurts all the time. Okay, and so it's the right one still right now too. Mm -hmm. That's the. The sciatic nerve pain went from my right to my left and it's back at my right, okay. in my right hip, and then I have a spot up here in my upper back that okay. I, with my last pregnancy I had to get an injection because it hurt so bad like it wouldn't go away. Gotcha. Um, I haven't got an injection this time, but Good. it still hurts. It's like a bad knot or something, I don't know. Okay. Um, with the sciatic pain, does it stay in the low back or does it travel It goes to my right leg. So. Does it go all the way down to the foot? Yeah. Like, sometimes when I get up at night, I'll step on my right leg and not like, if I don't catch myself, I'll fall because my leg will go, Okay. like, weak. Gotcha. I, I definitely don't need that. Mm -hmm. um, and granted, I don't think you want that either. Um, any pain in the neck? Anything up going on? Outside? Sometimes. Like, my neck and shoulders are pretty stiff. I okay. Feel like. Well, you came to the right place, so I can definitely help you with that. Um, all right, so what we're going to do, I'm going to start off, and we're going to do range of motion. I'll do some orthopedic tests, just kind of get that baseline, see where you're at. If you are to look all the way up at the ceiling, any pain, stiffness, tightness? I mean, it feels kind of tight, but I don't know. No pain. Okay, good. And then if you look all the way down to the floor, any issues with that? Kind of like feels like it goes through my spine, like. Okay, so where she. Tightness. So she's pointing like in between the scapula, that mid back going down just like this, right in mm -hmm. through here. Yeah. Okay, and then if you bring one ear to one shoulder. Some stiffness in some my shoulder. <laughs> okay, and then the other side. Mm, a little bit. A little it's bit. On side. Okay, and then if you just rotate over either shoulder. Just some stiffness? Okay. I am, well, I'm going to have you sit up nice and straight. Good. I'm going to push down on the top of your head. Any pain with that? Mm -hmm. Good. Any pain with that? Mm -hmm. Good. Any pain there? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. So now I'm going to have you stand up. Okay. What I want you to do is just bend forward at the waist. Any pain in the... Low back, sciatic area. This side. That side? Okay. When you go back like this, any issues there? Yeah, it's like the middle and the, and the side. So the middle going to the side, mm -hmm. is it going down the leg? Or not mm -hmm. right now? No, right now. Okay. If you bring one arm down to one side and then to the other. <laughs> Just pain. So Still on that right side? Okay. And then if you're to rotate over either side. Feels like it's like locked up. Okay, so when she's rotating, she's feeling like it's locked up in that metal back. Yeah. All right, so what we are gonna do, um, that you are pregnant, so I'm not gonna have you, well, that you're this far along pregnant, I'm not gonna have you lay on your stomach. So we're gonna be doing the adjustments either sitting or laying on your back. So I'm first gonna start off, I'm gonna have you lay flat on your back for me. Good. Okay. So now with this, what I'm going to do, we're going to start with checking that leg length here. So now when we come in, as you guys can tell, her left side is short by quite a bit. We bring the legs even together. So, left side short. So what we're going to do, so now we're going to focus on that neck, that upper, the middle back, and the lower back. So it's just different ways of doing techniques that we that we do, you know, 
I wouldn't say on a normal patient, but on a non-pregnant patient. So let's go ahead and get started here. So first off, I'm going to have you sit up for me. Come forward. Okay. So with this, I like to start in that in that neck and that upper cervical and that. I do need to my hair. No, you're fine. You're fine. So what I like to do in here, just because I can't do that T1 adjustment, I can get pretty low when doing a rotatory type adjustment here. So what I want to do first is I really like to feel that, that tension in from side to side. I'm feeling how those vertebrae are sliding across each other. And we're going to start with the lower one down here. Good. So that right there, and those adjustments, I do them very low in that cervical spine. So that, that's how, when I'm really doing those T1 adjustments to lying uh, face down, I do them like that actually. So for, for pregnant women, we do them a little bit differently. Um, what I'm going to have you do, we're going to have you stand up for me. I'm going to have you put your arms out by your side. I want you to put your hands up and over mine. Yep. Lean back on you, squeeze your elbows together. Good. Feel that little bit of release mm -hmm. right through there? Okay. So I can come right over to here. Good. Okay. So this one, this is going to be that, that middle back, that, that spot that's really bothering you. I want to focus on this one right here. So I have yourself, have you give yourself a big hug there. And from here, I want you to take a deep breath in and exhale out. There we go. One more time, deep breath in and exhale out. Good. I'm going to have you come back up. Perfect. So we got a lot of very good movement in with that. Okay. So now, what I want to do, I want to use that portable massage device and we're going to relax the areas through here, going down the, the spine as well. So I like things nice and relaxed first, especially before we do that wide strap adjustment. How does that feel? It's good. So what I want to do, I want to have you lay on your back for me. I want to check your leg length again, see how things are going. Perfect, right there. So now we've already done, we've done that thoracic adjustment. We've done the that lower cervical, that T1 adjustment. And now granted, we're doing things a little bit differently. So now when we bring that leg length together, so it's, I mean, it's almost pretty darn perfect compared to what I was the first time. Um, what we're gonna do though, I wanna do a side posture adjustment. I really wanna get on, work on that low back issues. So I'm gonna have you first lay on your side and face me this way. 
this is going to come off. Good. We're going to bend that top leg. There we go. Just like that. I'm already hearing things moving. Perfect. I'm going to have you flip to the other side for me. Is it? Okay. <laughs> we'll get that for you. Okay. There we go. Already moving again. There it was. Okay. Perfect. Lay flat on your back. Good. So let's go ahead. We're going to do that leg pull here. That leg pull, you'll feel some release in the ankle and the knees going all the way up to the hip as well. Good. There we go. How'd that feel? Good. Good. Alright, so I'm going to scoot you down. I want your knees bent off the table. Perfect. And so we're going to do that wide strap now. So from here, we'll put that on. If you could pull your hair through for me. Perfect, thank you. I'm going to have you lean back, keep your legs bent like that, good. Okay, yep, just rest your hands there. So now this is where you're going to get that decompression going from the cervical spine going all the way down. describe that to somebody who's never had that done before? But like every bone from my head to my back <laughs> cracked. <laughs> Literally. Like, okay, good. So every bone cracked from your head going all the way down. Mm -hmm. Good. How did that feel? Did you feel that pressure just getting taken yeah. off? How's that spot in the mid-back? Feels good. I feel like I can't move my head. <laughs> Look up, look down. I know, trust me, give it a second. It's right now, right when, after it happens, it's like your body's almost like, oh my gosh, what's going on? So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna use the massage device. We're gonna just relax the neck and that upper back a little bit. And then I will ask you the same questions again. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Okay. But yeah, that, that Y strap gets a ton of movement. And I think I heard every vertebra on yours actually pull apart. Sometimes you don't hear it and the patient only hears it, but yeah, with yours I heard everything. I need one of the devices. <laughs> I know, I, I love that thing. That hypervolt is awesome working with soft tissue. Okay. Um, Do you notice a, a difference from when you first came in? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, that is the whole point. Um, how's that set? How's like the, the little back doing right now? I don't really know until I. <laughs> I sit on the floor for a while. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha, good. All right, well, definitely we got a ton of movement. Um, now, have you been adjusted before? Mm -hmm. Okay. Was Not it? like that. Not like that? No. So was the it? last time I was adjusted, it was with a clicker. Okay, so compared to, that's called an activator, compared to the activator, the clicking, did you notice a difference between the technique? Yeah. I feel like I'm 
feel like the clicker doesn't do anything. Maybe for like a day. <laughs> I don't know. So okay, so you really you notice you really feel things getting moved, mm -hmm. getting aligned. You feel that decompression. Like I feel like there's just a bunch of blood flow in there. Like my back is like warm. Yeah. So what happens? So what she's saying, she's feeling a bunch of blood flow. Her back's feeling warm. What happens is over time, pressure gets pushed down on all those nerves that are exiting the spine, mm -hmm. and when we do that release. Mm -hmm. It pulls the pressure off, and now your body is it's able to send neurons all the way down. Mm -hmm. And what's happening, it's like now, so instead of like that nerve being pinched, now it's fully open, and it's like just everything is just getting like overload. So, I mean, that goes away after a little bit. I mean, after 10, 15 minutes, you'll notice that going away. But, yeah, that's now pressure being, off, being put off those nerves, so it's allowing the body to function and heal as it's intended. So, yeah, especially in that mid-back area, I know you're really going to feel a ton of relief. That sciatic area, you'll, you'll definitely notice a difference. And considering that you are 35 weeks pregnant, definitely good to get that done. Just help everything nice and relax, and hopefully make it a nice and easier pregnancy for you. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Well, I'm Dr. Joseph Cipriano. If anyone is ever looking to schedule an appointment, um, just go right to the website, drjosephcipriano.com. Um, send me a message, and I would love to help you out. Have a good one, guys.